The Temptation of Saint Mary Magdalene is a masterpiece by Johann Luss, one of the most talented and original painters of the early 17th century. He was born in northern Germany, but traveled extensively and absorbed various artistic influences from different regions. He worked in Amsterdam, Rome, and Venice, where he probably painted this canvas around 1626. The painting depicts a dramatic moment in the life of Mary Magdalene, a biblical figure who was traditionally associated with a repentant prostitute. She is shown holding a skull, a symbol of mortality and penance, and turning away from the worldly temptations offered by an old woman on the left. The old woman holds a pile of gold vessels, which contrast with the simple wooden bowl on the table. The Magdalene's rich clothing and jewelry also hint at her sinful past. On the right, an angel gently guides her towards the path of virtue and salvation. He holds a palm branch, a sign of martyrdom and victory over death. The Magdalene's expression and posture convey her inner struggle and emotion. Her back tilted head, half closed eyes, and exposed breasts suggest a sensual and erotic tension, which is enhanced by the luscious brushwork and vibrant colors of the painting. Mary Magdalene's gesture of holding a skull is a symbol of her penitence and contemplation of death. According to medieval biographies of the saints, she was a former prostitute who became a follower of Christ and later a hermit. She meditated on the foolishness of focusing on earthly pleasures and did penance for her sins. The skull represents the transitoriness of life and the need for repentance. The subject and composition of the painting are unusual and original. Liss may have been inspired by a similar painting by Jacob Jordanes, a Flemish artist who was influenced by Rubens. However, Liss gave his own interpretation and style to the theme, creating a dynamic and expressive work that reflects his mastery of light, color, and movement. He also added some exotic elements, such as the turban and the oriental rug, which were fashionable in Venice at the time. The painting is a remarkable example of Liss's artistic creativity and skill, and one of his finest works. The painting has a long and significant history in the UK. It was probably acquired by Richard Chauncey, a wealthy merchant, in the mid-18th century, and installed as an overmantel in the billiard room of his newly rebuilt house, Edcote, in Northamptonshire. The painting remained in the same family and location until 1994, when it was sold at auction. It was then purchased by a private collector in 1995, who later offered it to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. The painting was acquired by the Met in 2020, thanks to the generous support of various donors and funds. It is now on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 621, where it can be admired by the public.